Hello, lovely. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tori, and this is a celebrated mess. I have been talking in my previous videos how I have been um, inspired to make a journal, and I wanted to try to make it out of a paper bag. So I did. And I've a previous video recently, I went over some of the vintage ephemera that I had made out of scraps. So I dug through this box and I used them to embellish this journal. So, um, and I think it's really cute. As you can see, there's, there's bead dangles and things, chunky things hanging out. It's a real chunk monster and it's only one signature. Um, but I love it. I think it came out really well. I'm very happy with it. So let's get started. Uh, I just have a piece of seam binding, really pretty seam binding, holding it together. If we can untie this without it getting in a knot, because of course, when you're on camera, all the wrong things happen. <laughs> it totally just knotted up. So I'm just going to scooch it off like that. So the front um, is just a book page that I've ripped and distressed with vintage photo ink. And then use some lace and some fabrics with a brad. And I have this really cool bird book where the birds are at the top of the page and they punch out and like stand up. So I just cut it the rest of the way out and put him on here because I thought he was beautiful. And then um, he is a blue jay. This is the page that he sat on top of. So I just cut it and made it a pocket and um, stuffed some goodies in here. Oh, oh my. Well, well, look at that. All the wrong things are happening. And that is crafting. <laughs> All the wrong things are happening. So I guess I did not let that dry good enough and it got stuck in the glue. So it ripped it a little bit. Um, I can fix that. I can. So we'll fix that later. And I'll glue this down a little bit more. So I think the same thing may have happened with this tag as well. I can't get it out. Yep, I didn't let it dry. Oh man, beans. Well, I can fix that too. <laughs> it is okay. Things happen, things go wrong, and we just roll with it, right? So I will fix it and then put it back. Um, this is a pocket right here. It's part of the bag itself. And I tucked a little piece of ephemera into the pocket. Just a nice little secret pouch right there. And then I've got book pages in here. I have coffee dyed. Let's see, let me zoom out a little bit. I have coffee dyed um, papers in here. This is one of the little envelopes I made that I showed in my previous video. Got some uh, graph paper, some ledger paper. This is one of the pockets I made and a couple of pieces of the ephemera. See, this one came out nice and fine and it goes back in there nice and fine how about that <laughs> so on this one I've been inspired by I'm gonna so pronounce it wrong Shatuki art um, she makes junk journals and she does like art journaling in them and so I wanted to pretend that I was Shatuki art and do some art journaling <laughs> So I used some Ranger Delusion inks and um, I did use some texture paste and a stencil and it's a leaf, which I don't even know if you can tell it's leaf now because of all the paint that I did on top of it and the paint splatters, but I like it. It's interesting. This is one of the ruffles that I made. And then I have some um, bird page, book bird books that I ripped out some pages and put out put in here. This is one of the larger pieces of ephemera that I made, and I just made a bead and attached it with a paper clip. This came from an artist journal or an artist uh, how-to book. Another couple pieces of ephemera I made. Get in there, little love pocket. More coffee dyed paper. I left this pretty blank because I want, I really believe in practicality and I don't want to cover up all the writing spaces. So I, I leave a lot of the pages blank because I just want them to be able to be used. Flower paper or from a magazine or a book. And this, 
I thought was so cute. It says, love you, and on the back it says, you are more lovely than you could ever imagine. It came on a piece of clothing that I purchased. And I'm like, well, hot dog, that would look great in a journal because you are more lovely than you can imagine. So, happy day. All of us in our little messy lives, we are more lovely than we know. And it's great to be reminded of that sometimes. And there's the middle, and this is made with elastic, so you can take in and out. You can add stuff, you can remove stuff. I always love that option. Um, this is a nice die cut that I got and um, a kit from Your Creative Studio. Your Creative Studio, yes. And that was a really cool box. I should have done an unboxing, but it was really cool and I was excited to open it, so I just did it for myself. <laughs> More pieces of ephemera. One right here. This was that weird pocket I made. And I just tucked it with some, um, I made a pocket out of it. So it's got three tuck spots right there, right here in the front, and then right here. I made this piece into a belly band. Stuck a piece of ephemera behind it. Another little flower. And this, I tucked uh, some things that you could use in the journal. I love these bird pages. I just think it's really pretty. And this is a, pay, a little paper bag that I turned into a pocket on the front. It's paper clipped in so you could remove it and put all types of goodies in there. And then I just put a couple of pieces of... Um, botanical ephemera in there and then this little tag that I made and that's just held in floating so you can move it wherever you want to and then here's another little art journal page this one is a leaf you can kind of tell a little more it's a maple leaf and I did the same um, same ink same splattering to kind of make it consistent through in the journal another little page ruffle And this is the bag. This is a pocket right here. And then there's the bag. So in the bag pocket, I put a couple of pieces of really pretty stationary paper. And then I tucked in this really big tag that you can write on the back. And I thought that was really cool. So this was my paper bag journal that I was inspired to make. Yay, I had a couple of accidents that I'll have to fix, but that will be okay. It will be fixed. And um, I will get this knot out of the seam binding, <laughs> hopefully. And uh, yeah, happy mistakes. And that's okay because it's handmade and we make it with love and we know how to fix our mistakes. And that's all right. That's what life is about. We make mistakes and we can fix them. And if you can't, sometimes you just got to roll with it and keep on going. I hope you have a lovely day. Please remember to like my video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, and don't miss any new videos coming up. And even if you're feeling snazzy, share it with a friend and leave a comment and tell me if you uh, like my little, or if you have any ideas on how to fix it, which really I'm just going to cut this off and ink it and make it's just going to be shorter. And then I can rip the edges of this, you know, but if you have some really cool ideas, I'd love to hear them. Uh, I'd love to read them and I will respond back to you. If you tell me if you like this journal, then I will give you a heart emoji. I hope you have a favorite, a, a fantastic day and I will see you later. Bye.